Okay, hear me out for one second. I know that all we do as Italians on the internet is complaining about how you're not able to make our food the proper way. And to be honest, most of the times we are right. It's annoying, but we are right. But we have so much pride in our food and that's why we leave those long angry comments under Facebook videos, <coughs> tasty, that make our food look completely different and just awful, awful to see. But in this video I'm going to tell you about all the food that you think it's Italian but actually isn't and some of those things do not even exist here in Italy. So I don't know why some things are now known to be Italian when we didn't even invent them. I don't know. First up, fettuccine Alfredo. And okay, I'm gonna give it to you, they've been invented by an Italian chef here in Rome, but he exported it in the US and we, we don't know what that is. You're not gonna find it in an Italian restaurant or like a family dinners. Maybe you're gonna find it now because people are trying to appeal to tourists more, but it's not a thing that it's like usual for us. Next one is garlic bread and I assure you, you're not gonna find it in any Italian restaurants here. I don't know how it came about, but all we do with bread it's to put like oil and salt on it but garlic is not a big ingredient here and we definitely do not put it on bread I'm sure it's nice it's lovely but it's not a thing okay now if you think that this is mozzarella you are wrong because that's not our kind of mozzarella and to be honest I don't know what you're supposed to do with that like does it melt do you grate it how, I, I don't know. Our mozzarella is completely different and it's softer and squishy and like they don't even look related. Why are those the same thing? They, they don't... No, please. <laughs> then we have pepperoni pizza and one thing that I have to explain to you. If you're gonna ask for a pepperoni pizza in Italy, they're going to bring you a pizza with peppers because peppers in Italian is pepperoni, so basically the same word without a P. So that's what you're gonna get. If you want uh, what you think it's a pepperoni pizza, you have to ask for a diavola, which is with like spicy salamis on it and it's amazing, it's my go-to. So please do not disrespect the diavola, <laughs> which means like devil style because it's spicy and it's so good. So learn the difference because Peppers are pepperoni, and what you have on your pizza is salami, with an E, not with an I. <laughs> on the topic of pizza, what the heck is chicken pizza? I've never seen it in my 22 years of eating pizza almost every weekend. I've never seen it, never encountered it, it's not Italian. I'm sure it's nice, even though you're the ones that put pineapple on pizza and that's a disgrace, please, why? Then breadsticks, and we don't have those, or if we do, they're completely different, because I'm guessing breadsticks are like soft, like bread. All we have is grissini, and they are thin and they are crunchy, so totally different. So we did not invent breadsticks, and if we did something similar, we don't eat it like at the table, it's not like an appetizer, so I don't know where you got that from. Sorry. Okay, one thing that makes me really mad that you're not gonna see in Italy ever is when they serve you pasta with the sauce on top. Just on top, not mixed in. Why are you doing that? Pasta gets tacky and gets sticky and gets unedible basically within seconds of being out of water if you don't put anything else with it. So mix your sauce, please. <laughs> and oh, do you want an Italian grandma to die on the spot? Well, I have the phrase for you to say. Tell her that you eat pasta with ketchup. She's gonna die, I'm gonna have her heart attack, the whole nation is gonna crumble because this unacceptable, unacceptable! Don't do that ever, please, ketchup belongs with french fries or whatever else that isn't pasta. Then let's talk about Italian dressings and it has Italian in the name, it has to be Italian. No, it isn't, <laughs> because in our salad all we put is oil, salt and some people vinegar. And that's about it. So I don't know where you got that from. Yeah, it's mostly our flavors and what we use in other things, but not in salads at all. And I saved the worst for last. What is this? What is chicken parmigiana? Parmesan, however you wanna call it. Our parmigiana is this lovely thing made with eggplants. Do you see chicken in any of that? No, but it could be all right with the fact that you make it with chicken, but I've seen most chicken parmesans with pasta underneath it. What? And with the sauce not mixed in, which what? Again. But how are you supposed to cut the meat without getting in the way of the pasta and the other way around? How does it work? Why are you gonna make things more complicated? I don't, I don't know what to say. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and seeing me get angry about this stuff because this is the only thing I care about. But if you did, definitely share it with your friends so they can learn something as well and we all can be knowledgeable about stuff that isn't Italian. 
please let's stop the lies about fake Italian food but if you want to watch more videos about Italian things I have two more about how you pronounce some foods they apparently are very difficult to pronounce and if you want you can subscribe to my channel by clicking that face over there and you can subscribe to my Italian channel where I have subtitles so if you want to learn a bit of Italian you can go there you can click up here thank you so much for watching I will see you in the next video bye